Hello everyone, welcome back to Roll. So, I've recently learnt in my absence of videos that I was mistaken about how the cost of things in the shop works. Previously, I used to think that, ooh, very early incrementer. I used to think that the cost of stuff in the shop was related to how much you had in the bank. But it's not. The cost of stuff in the shop is directly related to how many points you've gained over the course of the entire game. So, am I going to go for this this early? Sure, we'll try it out. What I'm interested in doing now is going for a run run. That is to say, a numbers running 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, etc. But what I would like to do is start from the smallest numbers and work up because if I'm working from the smallest numbers the smallest numbers are going to generate the smallest amount of score thus not making things in the shop cost more as fast so if we generate smaller amounts of score with smaller gains shop price increases will be smaller I think I got there so we're going to start off by just buying out to 193. Not 97, because 97 exists on the die 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. So we don't need to get up to a 97, whereas a 93 we can't get on just buying a standard die. So we'll get up to a 93. We'll let the incrementer do its thing. We'll pick up the other re-rollers along the way and then we'll go through the first couple of tiers of shop before starting to try and build our run from the bottom up so that's the goal i also understand that there is an update in the works from x-ray the dev of the game i've seen some of the implementation over on the discord that looks very nice lots of the occasions where You'll be over and like looking at this stuff and when you hover over things it gives you a preview of what that face is what the bonuses are what they mean which is going to be really good when i've like gone deep through a run and i've forgotten what this thing or that thing does you'll be able to remind yourself mid game i don't know if there's any other content coming in that patch i also know that there is a not a buff the other one What's the opposite of a buff? I can't remember. Do I want another one of these? Probably not. Although now I've rolled for it, so we might as well. Why can my brain not remember the word that is opposite of a buff? Not a debuff. Is it a debuff? I'm going mad. Some things get buffed, some things get debuffed. There must be another word, and I'm going to pause in a second and try and find it, because it's breaking my brain that I cannot think of the word. Like, I'm thinking about things like in Hearthstone, where they would do a new edition, and some cards would get buffed, and some cards would get made worse. But for the life of me, I cannot remember what that word is. I'll do that after we get to 93 here. I'm not going to take another incrementer. I think that's excessive. Still can't think of the word I'm trying to think of. Right, on 87, we need a 3 and a 3. That gets us to 93. So we're ready to upgrade to the next tier of shop. And as we do that, I'm going to go look up this word because it's annoying the nuts off of me. Say it with me now. One, two, three. Nerfed. That's the word. Right. Um, what was I saying about nerfing? The plan is, as I understand it, to nerf lock and key builds. So they're going to end up with builds that are... 
um, brain, words. The lock and key builds, the keys are going to decrease a lock, but much less. So you won't be able to abuse lots of keys, re-rolling lots of times onto a lock once to unlock like a 500 lock in 12 rolls or something. That's the nerf that might be coming. Right, let's get back into the swing of things here. I'm going to upgrade again immediately because I want to be able to buy dice so I have somewhere to put other things. Super. Rerolling dice is not really what I had in mind, but it's fine. No, it's not fine. Let's buy things that I actually want. I want a times four on my 93 for a start. Then I want both of these. So we're going to need a bunch of regular die because we want to build up one through six first and then start working the numbers higher. But to do that, we're also going to need just dice to place things and set all number faces and things like that. So, do we get any of the numbers we need here? There's a two. We can steal that. It'll make the rest of the dice much worse, but that's fine. Uh, this will stay as 93. That's now going to be a 10, probably. So, we can do one, two, three is a good start. Although, we'll probably buy a dice of all ones at some point like a pair like this, so that's not something so much to worry about. We'll grab the other as well. Now we have room to put things. I also want to find six times re-rolls for our main die. There we go. Uh, a die with six through twelve. Sounds good to me. And a standard die 1 through 6 would also be useful. Uh, a numeric number 9. I will pick up and put on one of these. Right next to the 10 there. And I'll pick up a 7. Because I can put that on a 1 here and make a numeric 8 that we are currently lacking. A die with 4, 8, and 12. We can use for the 12, probably. And we'll grab a couple more of these. So we have lots of options. And then we need to look at upgrading to our next tier of shop. Do I need re-rollers anywhere in particular? I don't think I terribly do. Eventually we'll get some kind of universal re-roller, I'm sure. So, now we have these things. Set all die faces. This is going to be the bread and butter of this run. Choose a numeric die face. All other faces for chosen die will be set to the numeric value chosen. Remove all incrementers. So, what we'll want to do is... We'll pick up a 10x first. We can stick that on any of the other faces of this die. Because then what we're going to do is set all the faces of that die to B93. Removes the incrementers, and now we just have that to work with. What I will want to find, I think at this tier of shop, are some shop refresh adders because we're going to need lots of refreshes to find those set all die face faces. We could also take numbers less than 13, give a thousand percent bonus, but I think that's going to increase our score too much too early. So we'll hold off on that. We can take more plain die. Now I really do want to see 
shop refresh adders but whilst we've got the opportunity for settled die faces we will do that as well so let's work from 10 downwards rather than one upwards because what we don't currently have are any of the passives that multiply for runs so the two of them are multiply all of the numbers in the run by whatever the highest number in the run is and multiply all the numbers in the run by the length of those numbers in that run so if it's six seven eight nine ten the first one would times everything by ten the second one would times everything by five because there are five numbers between six and ten so we'll leave this die because the 20 30 40 50 60 are fairly large numbers where over here we've just got a bunch of ones so we'll set all of that to nine i'm going to pick up a times five here just to put that on with the 93 die which is our main scorer at the moment and we'll set all of these to eight i don't think i have a seven anywhere yet so we'll need that eventually we can grab another standard die. Numbers less than 13 re-roll twice. We will pick that up. That will give us a good bump in our scoring, but not one that's too extreme. Then we need... 10, 9, 8. We're not going to have a 7 anywhere. We've got lots of candidates for 6s, so let's just do a 6. If we've got 10, 9, 8, no 7, let's do a 6 here. A die with random numbers 1 through 99. another don't need bonus weights don't need triples don't really need re-rollers I'm going to take six times re-rollers and put them on this die of all ones now they're re-rolling already because they are numbers less than 13 but now I have a target to put my shop refresh adders on when I eventually find them. I'll take another 5x to put on my 93s. And why not finish those off? Seventeen is probably a number we can work towards soon. There's settle thy faces again. I will pick up numbers divisible by two, get an extra hundred percent. That will give us another small increase in our scoring. So we did ten, nine, eight, six. And do a five here. So we need to build a seven somewhere. We'll keep that in mind. But we'll keep buying more dice to be able to transfer stuff to and whatnot. Let's grab a settle dices again. We don't have a way of building a 7 immediately, but we've done 6 and 5. We can do 4 quite happily. I'll take a die of 77s just to have one. Now, numbers less than 6. Uh, sorry, there's dice fewer than 6. We have way more than 6 dice, so we don't have to worry about that. Numbers less than 50. Pick one of those up. Now at some point we are going to have to upgrade to the final tier of shop. 
that was six five four we need a three it's gonna be you there and a two it's gonna be you there so we now have one through six we're missing seven then we have eight and nine probably do need some more scoring because we're spending quite a lot of rolls just to get these dice upgrades so if we see another good passive choice in a moment we will certainly take it no weight 200% seems like a pretty good one there's plus sevens but they don't help us when we're trying to make exactly seven We also have not seen any shop refresh adders yet, which upsets me. I will take a plus seven though, because there's surely somewhere useful we can put this to make the next number we need in 11. And we've got our fours done. So four plus seven is 11, which we need. Plus eight is still too large. A die of all prime numbers. I should probably check these dice that I've been... Oh, look, yeah. Uh, just as I'm about to say, we should check four or seven on these other dice. So there's one there. There was one here the whole time. This is what I get for not checking. There's one there as well. All right, well, that's just putting me to shame, isn't it? Well, then we can add a seven to our ranks very soon. I would love some shop refresh adders. I'll pick up scavenger when it's a little more price compatible for me. There's run length multiplier. So when you roll a run of three or more consecutive numbers, the value of all dice in the run will be multiplied by the length. So the plan is to pick this up, start with a small run, generating a small number of points. And then as our run gets bigger, our scoring will extrapolate. So let's start with set all die faces on a seven. I'm going to pick. There's a 12 there, but there's a 12 here as well. So I'm going to pick this seven. Then we're going to grab run length multiplier. We need a 12, so why not invest in that? And numbers 1 through 99 could work out for us. Um, I will take a no 99's 200% bonus. Now, until we can get a universal re-roller, uh, although we do have a universal re-roller on our numbers less than 13, so the run currently will get the benefit on its re-rolls. because it, on on the first roll, all the dice are included. Then if something re-rolls, then it's only the dice that re-roll are included in that second roll. Then again for the third and then for the fourth rolls, if you have a maximum number of re-rolls. So where's tab, not escape. Give me another prime dice. Then we're probably looking at upgrading the shop soon. Now is a much better time to buy Scavenger because it's far easier for us to roll for that many points. Uh, numbers less than 13 get a thousand percent bonus. All right. But this will be the last big scoring bump we get. Let's upgrade the shop. Then we can make a number that we need somewhere, perhaps. So we have one through seven, right? Because we have one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's sorted. There's an 11 there. There's a 12 here. Is there a 13, which would be the first written numeric number? There's a 31 there. I do not see a 13. But if we have a number 4 on a standard die, we can do 4 and 9 for 13. That way we can continue building our run. Now everything is much more expensive because we've increased our scoring. But there is a 13, so now the runs will be 13 long. What I really need now is a shop refresh adder. we have a 14 anywhere let's just find what the next lowest number is i see a 16 and a 17 and a 15 that's pretty good going 13 15 16 17 19 lacking a 14 so we will go for the 15 instead and look to build a 14 somehow in the future we could double a seven if there was a spare seven somewhere which there is did we do 11 already i thought we did 11. Yes, we did 11 down here. So let's double this 7 into a 14. That way we can set that up in a moment. I'll grab another standard die. Refresh. Yahtzee bonuses probably aren't going to come into play. Factor 18 multiplier is no good. All of the lottery stuff if we were doing a lottery build, which of course we're not. So there's our 14. And our 15. We did 15. We did... Did we do 12? Did I mean to do 12 and we didn't yet? Because we definitely got up to 10. I counted that through. We did 11 here. Then we did 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I'm going to guess because I can't see the vastness of the dots. We've not done 12 yet. So let's do a 12. Ten more dice of all ones. It's only a few rolls. Lottery failure re-roll we don't need. I'm not going to bother with die adders. Numbers less than 13 get another 500% value. All right, but just because it's the numbers less than 13, then that's where most of our run exists. We're not going to get the no 99s bonus right now. We just need more set all die faces, don't we? There's one. So we did 14, 15, there's 16. We 
We have no wilds. We don't need the very large dice yet. Although we don't have any benefits for... Oh, we do have one benefit for no 99s. So we should avoid getting any more. So it's 15, 16, there's 17. Do we have an 18? There's a 19. There's an 18. Happy to just whisk that away. Far easier making numbers at this end of the scale than trying to do it up in like the 70s and the 80s. Still not a die refresh in the bunch. I'm going to stick a triple reroll on here just for its own consistency. We can pull numbers away if we see something on a die that is going to be useful that we can just extract off. Like this 19. I can just put that there. have a 20 here we can put that up there 10 more all one dice and why not grab 10 more after that as well the value of all numeric faces will be multiplied by 10 the value of all non-numeric faces will have no effect or value we never did get a shop refresh adder so we don't have any non-numeric faces but at the same time, we are scoring very well at the moment. We're only using one or two rolls to get to where we need to be on each purchase. So this will be great, just not right now. As would something like add previous rolls to re-rolls. That would be great. But we don't need that much score right now. We just need more of these set all die faces so we did 15 16 17 18 there's 19 next is 20 remember that for me guys just remind me that 20 is next if you would be so kind we need a universal re-roller that's really what's gonna impact us a lot soon No weights, triple reroll. Here we go. Got there surprisingly fast as well. Let's grab combined face multipliers because we can. Then I don't think we need copies of stuff. Although we could make copies of our 93 dice in the center purely on the aspiration of making a Yahtzee of them. Which seems like grossly unnecessary. Oh, we should glue one side down as well of that. So we're getting a little bit off track here, but won't be for long. And besides, everything's about to get way more expensive. There's Passive Hunter. That's going to be a nice to have. Another set all faces. So we did... We're on 20. Thanks for reminding me, everyone. I appreciate that. Do I want any of this stuff? If you have 50 or more dice, the value of all dice will be increased by 800%. Again, another one of those ones that's going to be great towards the end, but right now, we don't need it. Right, do we have a 21 anywhere? I should be able, there should be a box somewhere, and I can just type a number into that box, and it would highlight all the instances of that number. There's a feature I've never seen requested before. 
Or if I could, like, click a number and it would highlight all the other ones of that number, then click it again and show me all the numbers one above and one below that number. Uh, but there is a 21. Very nice. We're looking for 22 next. I also want to glue down that one. So we can now add a copy of the 99, uh, the 93s that we're after. How much is 400 million in rolls? Not a trivial amount, but not an excess either. So that's one, two, three, four of those. If we get a chance to make a fifth, we certainly will. Um, dice, dice, dice for 600 mil. Again, pretty expensive, but fine. Have not seen a single BOGO yet. And we're actually spending quite a lot of rolls just to get one set all die faces. So we'll have to consider getting some more passive increases at this point, actually. Uh, we're looking for 22. I spot a 23 if we don't find a 22 in the bunch. I think that's going to be it. So I desire to make a 22. Do we have a... We have 17 here. We can make a 22 by adding to this 17. That makes me presume that we're not going to have a 17 elsewhere. So I could make one of these 22 and then harvest it off. Which is not ideal, but we'll do what we can with what we have. Give me numbers divisible by 5, add some more score. That will be helpful without inflating us too much. And add face value to itself. So we've just made a 22 here. 23 is an odd number, and we've already made it. 24 is twice 12. There's a die of 12s here. Is there a spare 12 somewhere? That looks like a spare 12, so we could double that up to a 24. Ready for setting. Now, is it time to take numeric bonus times 10? Because we are running out of rolls now. They are leaving us quickly. Finally, a shop refresh adder but I honestly feel like it's just a bit too late. Especially because now we, it is too late because we just bought numeric bonus. All non-numeric faces will have no effect, so there's no point in buying a non-numeric face. So with that in mind, we want one more copy of our Yahtzees. Of our 93s, rather. So... If we ever get a Yahtzee bonus, that will make a Yahtzee, along with all of the fi uh, the ones that we have on the board. Uh, we want to harvest off a 17 from somewhere. A 22 from the 17, rather. Uh, plus 3. So, we're going to make 22. 3, 22 there. We just made a 24. We need a 25. There's a 26 there. That's good. Not seeing a 25. Or a spare 22, of course. There's a 24 there. Did we do 24 already? I doubled this one to make the 24. So, nowhere near a 25. Just 
watched nothing in the 20s at all, really. All right, we'll just stick that over there, start building other numbers. A die of everything, 1 through 99, sure thing. We don't need 77, we've got that already. Right, set all faces. We might be able to do something with incrementers if we absolutely have to. So there was 22. We are not gonna have a single set of a kind because of all the ones. We're almost guaranteed to have a Yahtzee somewhere and a triple and a double. off something something useful so we did 20 22 23 21 so we're looking for 25 that we don't have 26 here I will harvest you and you know what I'll put a 12 somewhere we might be able to utilize that if we put 12 12 double makes 24 we might be able to do something with that all right give me no weights 100 percent and no 99s another 100 percent i spent a fair few rolls trying to get those which i think justifies the amount spent on them Two more settle faces. So we did our 23. There is our 24. We do not currently have a 25 in place. I'll reset this 17 to get that back to where it needs to be. Plus 10 would come off of a 15 to make a 25. We could do the same trick of harvesting off the 15 if we absolutely have to. Or up here we've got a five, we could add 10 and then look for another plus 10 to make a 25. And let's pull that off of there just to remind me. We should set something while we're here. So we don't have 25. I thought I saw a 26 earlier. Am I making that up? There it is. And I think right next to it might have been a 27. Did I imagine it? I might have imagined. Oh no, there it is, right there, under my nose. 27. Is there something else I want to move off of somewhere? We're looking for a 28 now. Not seeing much spare randomly in the 20s. Right, so what's the next nearest number then? There's a 31 we could set. 32. 30. I mean, if we could do 30, 31, 32, they would be in a run of their own for a little while. Let's 
steal the 30 off of here because the 40 and the 50 might still be very useful. A die of prime numbers, sure. Settle numbers on the 30. No weights increase would be terrible because all of our dice would just become 99s. We need some kind of passive increase again, I think. There's a 31. There's a plus 10 on the 15 makes a 25, which is what we wanted. So, next time I roll a dice, I'm going to check. <laughs> I say, next time I roll a dice, rolls 15 sets of dice. This guy here should now be in run length 17. Did I screw up somewhere? No weights, bonus times 17 run length. Or did I screw up somewhere? We've got all ones, all twos, all threes, all fours, all fives, all six, all seven. That's eight. That's nine. Did I not set an all tens anywhere yet? Did I miss 10? I might have missed 10. Slightly embarrassing. How many of you have known that for like 20 minutes? If you have, I am deeply, deeply sorry. Let's find a set all faces and set 10 then. Uh, numeric bonus times 50 though is almost certainly worth investing in now. So, there's a 10. Uh, 1,000 dice bonus. Do we have dice values totals times 5? We have add die quantity. We don't. But I will take numbers divisible by 2, get 50% extra. Okay, our scoring just went through the roof. Uh, we now have run length 27. So there's 26 and 27 here. Are they all in full run? They are. So now we're looking for a 28. Now that I've fixed that snafu. How on earth are we going to make a 28? Nineteen plus nine is twenty-eight. We can harvest off the nineteen, or we could just use this one there. And did you see it in the passives there? Did you see it? Uh, what numbers are going off? Twenty-eight. We've also been presented with run multiplier. When you roll a run of three or more consecutive numbers, all the value of the dice will be multiplied by the highest number in the run. So with less than a thousand rolls left, I think now is an adequate time to pick this up. We'll also pick this up because it's going to be so few rolls to afford it. We might as well just buy most everything that we can see here, at least the numbers. So that was a 28. We need a 29. Then we have 30 and 31 covered, don't we? There's 30. There's 31. There's 32. So we need to make a 29. How are we going to do that? Plus 10 on a 19, I guess. 
here's our die of 19s. Oh, there's a spare 19 right there. So, steal that off to here. Then we'll set that as soon as we find an opportunity to do so. Another plus 10. What other numbers are we asking for then? That got to 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 10 more than a 23. Don't suppose we've got a spare 23 just lounging around. There's our die of 23s here. No. So, in that case, I guess we're going to take a 23, make it a 33. Steal it. Stick it there. Then reset those as necessary in a moment. Uh, a die with all of those on is fine by me. Prime numbers get a 300% bonus. We'll grab that. Another plus 10. This 23 is making our 33. We need a 24 to make a 34. Oh, you dingus. There's a 33 right there. Well, you know, these things happen. Uh, so 33, 34 is on top of a 24. Don't see any of the other numbers in the 20s, so I'm going to do that. And then we'll just have to move and harvest stuff. Let's grab single set of a kind just because it's within our budget right now. Yahtzee bonus for 500% more. Absolutely. Add previous roll to re-rolls. We don't need non-standard doubles because we can't benefit from non-standard types of dice. I think I need to harvest off a number I created here, the 34. Top three. I think we've got too many dice to make top three be worth it. Right, so what numbers were our priorities here? I guess it was 32 next. I need a whole bunch more of those. And at this point, we're just going to pick up anything that would be remotely helpful. 50 dice, 500% more. Absolutely. There's two settled die faces. So there's a 33. And we can do a 34. Then we'll fix the ones that we've harvested from at our next available occasion. 36 might be useful in a moment, as might be a 34. Or did we just do 34? We just did 34. Dang it. Thirty-seven, though. Thirty-seven, we almost certainly don't have just knocking around. And we'll fix our twenty-three. A bogo finally rears its head. No point in buying this because non-numeric faces don't do anything. Uh, is there anything left to fix? 24. Amusing with the 25, but I don't need you, sir.
We're getting some very large rolls now. So we got up to 30. We did 31, 32, 33, 34. Did we prep or discover a 35? There's a 37 here, 35 and 36. Thirty-five and thirty-six. There's a thirty. There's a couple of thirty-sixes up here. I'll take one of those. So thirty-five is what we need next, but we cannot make with what we have on hand. We just made a thirty-six. Do we have a thirty-seven? We do. So. Looking to build a 35 in any way we can. Let's build a plus one on this 24 on the off chance we find a plus 10 soon. Because they seem to be quite common at this point. If you have 100 dice, get 1000% more. Well, we currently have 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 110 plus 7 more is 117 dice, so that's worth picking up. Set all dice again. So we did 37. We don't have a 38 available, I'm assuming. It's all getting very small now, isn't it? Oh, there's a 37. Sure. I'll grab that for one on BOGO. And we've got our first E number sticking its nose in. A couple of them, in fact. Uh, plus nine. I'm going to guess we don't have a 39 sticking around anywhere at the moment. So I'm going to stick a 39 over here for a moment. There's number of dice times five. We want to pick that up, I think. That sets this to one, which is a great benefit. So we were looking for, we did 33, 34, 36. We don't have 35 yet. Thirty six, thirty seven, thirty five, then thirty eight. The thirty one here we might be able to build with. Let's do this thirty nine, thirty five, then thirty eight. We could add an incrementer die and hope to catch the number that we need on it. So we did the did we do 38 or 39? Brain is getting fried. We still have 972 rolls to go. We did 36. We did 39. We did 37. We don't have 35 or 38. I guess it's just time to do a 40. Should probably pick up the other incrementers I find. Hold on. Plus nine. Where could we put that to good use? We're 
looking for 35. 35 would be on a 26. Are we also looking for a 38? Because if we're looking for a 38, a 38 on a 20, a 9 on a 29 makes a 38. So I think we can do that fairly guilt free. Still looking for a 35. Give me bonuses on prime numbers and bonuses on doubles. Dice of numbers less than 99. Do you have what I need? No. So our current run length is, where's run, yeah, current run, 28 run multiplier times 28 run length multiplier. We're still missing 29, did I not do that? I'm such a klutz. Did I really not do 29? 24, 25, 28. All this time didn't do a 29. Well, the numbers won't lie, so we should get on that immediately. I will grab another BOGO. A plus five on a 23 would get there. There it is. What does that put us at then? Run length. 28 run multiplier times 28 run length. doesn't even show it. Getting myself in a real tizzy. Oh, did I just clone 28s for some reason? What, what is my brain doing? Is it 29 I don't have? Alright, I'm just going to count them again. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm currently missing a 29 die, so I'll take this 28, and if we find a plus one, that'll make a 29. What else can we do? So we need a 29. We have... I stopped counting where I had... for one I didn't have, which was 29. We have 30, I'm sure. There, 30, 31. Then I thought we had 32. If we don't, we'll have to get on that as well. 29, 32. Has everyone filled out their bingo cards? 2932. Well, I should set something just random going. There's a uh, 43 now. We have 43. There's 44. numbers can we spot? Uh, did we do 41? Did we do 43, 44? There's a 41. Don't know when we'll find a 42. 
but we need a 29. Plus 7 on a 22 would get me there. Not that I think I'm just going to have a spare 22 hanging around. There's a 21 for a 28, if we can find a plus 1. Not totally unlikely. One. There's a 47. Or do we have a 37? Oh god, numbers. We have a 37. There's a 47. Why not? Don't suppose we've got a 48 for me somewhere, game? No, but just a straight 40 probably isn't bad. I'll take all those so I can have another 50 somewhere waiting for me. Still need to make a 29. We didn't do 47 yet, I think. I'm just going to try and just hit any 40 I can at this point. While I try and make a 29. We just bought a die of all the 20s, so there's a 29. If we set that, then go and roll the dice once. You should now say, run 34 multiplier. 34 times run length multiplier, so we now need a 35. Pick that up for cheap. Might as well pick this up for cheap. Uh, sure, you go there. Out of our free shop refreshes, though, it's going to be very expensive. Might as well buy that for two shop refreshes. done that because I don't want the 99 but we can replace the 99 with a 19 and we were looking for building a 35 somewhere I thought I bought a dive incrementers they're up there how are you guys doing mid 20s I really have no idea how much more scoring I can expect to happen with this build as we keep building up. We have hit E17 a couple times. I'll grab that for a little extra scoring. Why not grab triples for some extra scoring as well? That lets us set something to be free. How about we have 41? Yes, we do. So let's take this 48. Add a half increment to die. That's going to take forever, but sure. 50% for doubles bonuses. Why not? Start getting more and more stuff out of the pool. We'll add a 99 half the increment to somewhere. Non-standard doubles we don't need. Five. What number were we looking for? 35 or 39? 35. So if we have a spare 30 somewhere, which we must do if we bought a 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 dice recently. No? Let's not accidentally put it somewhere else. Uh, there's a 30. So if we can set that to be all the same, please, dealer. You know, just one instance of settled dice to be the same is all I want. 
apart from the other 14 I'll want in a minute, E19 is like excruciatingly expensive. But we get one for free. There's 50 dice plus 800%. We certainly want that. That could see our scoring go up quite a lot. Still need another set all. Thank you ever so much. So that was for the 35 we just made up here. So if we then roll the dice once more. We now have... 41 run length we need 42 next there's at least 41 in two spots so if we can find a plus one we can do that i'll grab a 48 in case we don't have 48 anywhere yet we do so i won't do that although could be useful for adding like a plus one two or something similar same with this 38 there I'm going to grab this just because it means it's two rerolls that won't impact us negatively. As will I pick up another BOGO. Um, Yahtzee's an extra thousand percent is not bad to have but let's try for plus nine what number did we want to make now uh, run length 41 we want 42 so that's going to be a 33 plus nine we'll make a 42 don't I suppose i got a spare 33 knocking around we've got a 32 so if we can get a plus one we can make a 42 All dice and die adder faces are 15% cheaper. Additionally, for each new die you gain, reduce current shop prices by 2%. Well, we don't have any adder mechanics, so that's not really one for us right now. I'll take a triples bonus, just on the off chance that crops up. Did something break, or is that just really expensive? All other passives will have no effect, including all present and future ones. All shop prices reduce by 80% multiples of multiplies all die results by 5. Don't think we want that. 1,000 dice, 10,000%. Do we have times 5 total die? Not this one, that's die quantity. Yes, we do have five times die quantity. So, a thousand dice, we would need 200 dice to make that work. We currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 22, 33, 44, 55, 66, 77, 88, 99, 110, plus 12 more, plus, we could feasibly get there if we bought a lot of these things. So, for scoring purposes at this point, why not try? Because I don't think we're going to build our score too much more with building our run out further. Although once we get into the E19s, we struggle to build our score in a big way. How expensive was this thing? 4.0 E19. I mean, if we get to that, which we can, ten extra dice for free is great. Then we're just looking to buy more of every dice, basically. but preferably stuff that's reasonably cheap. Ten more. Yeah, we got up through like 
E16 to E18 really fast, and then climbing up through the E19s is just far more difficult. So that's where that's going to come to an end by the looks of it, but we did much better in building a very long run. I think if I try this again, I promise I will start with an Excel sheet of all the numbers and keep track of what we've created and what extra numbers we have siloed around for safekeeping and whatnot. But for right now, 4.15 to the E19 with a run length of 41. It's not bad going. Let's see how we're doing on the old scoreboard. We are in 36th place. That's header, illage, il, il, iljil, I apologize. Waifu Wu, lots of people from the Discord over here. And then they'll love me, right next to Matt and John. But for now, thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the revisit back to roll. If you have any questions, comments, recommendations, you can put them down below. If you haven't and might consider subscribing, try and get, get me up to 1,000 subscribers. I would really appreciate that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.